already. God, I got two of them. Oh. oh gosh, that's a good one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the episode of JL Fishing. Before we get this video started, I just wanted to take a little bit of time to tell y'all that I created a Facebook page for JL Fishing. So, head over there, like that page. All you gotta do is type in JL Fishing in the search bar and it'll pull it up. That page will keep you up to date with product giveaways, uh, when I upload videos, and also just anything fishing related. So if you're a fisherman or you just enjoy seeing my content, head over to that page, give that page a like, and I appreciate it. All right, well, I got a little bit of organization to be done before I head to the lake, but I'm already hooked up. Batteries are charging. Got to stop and get gas before I get there, but uh, I will catch y'all there. guys we're on carter's lake just got the boat put in the water i just want to let y'all know my pattern what i'm going to do for today i'm going to run the same banks that i've been running just to because they've been there for the past two saturdays so it's going to be interesting to see if they're still there or what's there you know and then i'm also going to run some new water i got plenty of time with a bite this good on alabama you guys couldn't go anywhere else you know what i'm saying i just i know i've been fishing down here a lot but i just love spotted bass just something about them That should be better. All right, now we cooking with peanuts. Ooh, let's, let's get it going. There's a little bit of murkiness to the water still, so I think these white swim baits will still be good, but may have to switch to the more natural colored ones. one already god I got two of them I oh, won't just come off dang I had two big ones on y'all and one just come off this is a good one. oh my gosh oh my gosh look at that look at that spot oh my gosh they're still here, boys. <laughs> They're still here. Golly, bomb. <sighs> yes. Check this out, y'all. I have not been here like 10 minutes fishing and already caught a dang like three and a half, three and a three quarter pound spotted bass. That's why I like it, golly, bum. Oh, baby. And that right there. This is why I've been telling y'all to get y'all's hind ends down here and chunk one of these. Like, come on now. I can't be the only one that loves to catch fish, you know what I'm saying? I haven't been here 10 minutes. I'm definitely sticking with the white swim baits now. <laughs> Gotta let the fish tell you what they want. I believe that just told me. Oh, 
Oh man, that's a good one. I'm gonna put this spot or what? It's a spot. It's a spot. Be foul hooked. Oh yeah! Golly, man. Dick old girls. Baby girl, get in there. Have I mentioned that I love fishing? Alright, gonna move to a new little stretch of bank. Just right across the creek from where I was. Man, like, it's shaping up to be a really good day. I mean, two day, two day gun biggins. And Less than an hour of fishing. I mean, one came within 10 minutes. Like within like, I don't know, like it had to be like my fourth or fifth cast of the whole trip. Oh, I just missed one. Oh no, he's still on there. It's a little one. It's just a baby. I'm pointing back. There you go. Teeth caught me. Well, time for me to hit the bank. If this ain't happened to you, you're lying. <laughs> All right. Now it's much better. We can get back to fishing like we need to now. Just gonna make a little run around the corner up here. Fish some more bluff walls. guys this is the big one right here this is this is every bit of three and a half three quarter pound three and three quarter pound my bad it's going to get her released Woo! I think she is playing with me right. let's get this one released this is another that's a solid three pounder up there Mm, there she goes guys as you can tell I video every release of these fish that I catch I do keep them in the box but that is strictly for YouTube for YouTube thumbnail and just take pictures with I do not keep them in there long maybe like an hour or two and I throw them back and as you can tell they swim away just fine all right guys I just got the fish released and I'm idling down to this section of bank where I fished the past few weeks and there was fish there. I fished like seven, 800 yards right here, but only one bite. The only difference between these two banks is the bank that I'm going to now is closer to a pocket, a good spawning pocket, a creek. So I'm slowly putting two and two together that it's the areas that hold the biggest fish has gotta be leading into the spawning pockets. That, that's what I'm thinking right now. Water's looking even better up here. Good color to it. Oh gosh. He pulled off. He pulled off. Oh my gosh. That was a giant. What the world, man? another spot. Yo. 
y'all. Once he turned his head and headed the other direction, I couldn't do nothing with him. That was a really good one. Man, that was heartbreaking right there. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and go further up the river and just see how that goes. Right now, I ain't got nothing to lose anyways. I mean, shoot. In the past hour, I've lost like four fish. I don't know, maybe the wind's died down, so that might be something. I just ain't eating it all the way, but I'm telling you, that fish right there was a grown one. That was a big one. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Feels like a striper. Yeah. Well, maybe the move was right. Not the right species, but they're fine. caught that striper but i don't know it's just there's not enough wind up here for this i'm gonna have to i might have to go back down on the main lake somewhere and just try to find a find a good place find a find a good area This place still has some good color to it, but it's got more wind. It's got the main lake wind blowing on it. The only thing it does lack is leading into a good creek, but there's some good pockets up here that that fish can spawn in. So let's try to find some fish heading back in those areas. There's one. Get out of there. We got me a tree. It's a nice little one. I mean, he's a keeper if he's in a tournament. Thank you, Mr. Spotted Bass, for showing the table. Hey guys, going to go ahead and stop the video right here. It's getting dark. I'm not not real sure how much shooting light I have left. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. The day started out like with three fish, bam, 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 three or two good fish, and then a, a third smaller one. But I thought it was going to be an excellent day, which it sort of went downhill from there. The fish just started acting finicky. I'm not real sure why. I could I could see them in the water hitting my rig that just wasn't hooking up for some reason. They just they was just hitting it. They wasn't eating it. That's the kind of problems you run into out here on the water. The, the, the fish ain't always cooperating like we want them to be. But as always, hope y'all have a good day. Hope y'all enjoy the video. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And remember to fish every cast like it's your last. We'll see y'all next time.